This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, Rachel Up here. Welcome to this Sims Mobile video in which I'm going to show you Nalani's house. So I'm just going to get to the point where I can unlock it here. And I'm reading a lot of you guys' comments and I see that it wasn't super clear that when you work towards your extra tickets, they're supposed to go towards this next Sim Festival. And then when you get here, it's only if you pay for that festival pass that you'll actually get to use them. I totally see that that is not clear and that's some feedback that I've passed on to the gurus. Also, if you buy the skips, it is not going to get you to the house unless you buy quite a few. So that's another thing that they need to make extremely clear. And rest assured, I have passed that along. So let's get this house and have a look at it see what you can expect when you do get there if you're on the paid prize track nilani's summer getaway let's collect that come out of here go into the buy mode tap the designer homes catalog and actually i'm going to go on a different lot also we in desperate need of more lots because now we have more designer homes than we can deal with this is it then, Nalani's Summer Getaway, free for the first placement. Be aware, if you do bulldoze it, I want to place it again, you will have to pay. Let's have a look at how much that is. 3,400 sim cash, which is the equivalent of between 28.99 and 48.99, basically 48.99. So expensive. Let's see what we get. It's a really cool house. It's on stilts. Oh, and you get lots of the festival track prizes are placed here. But obviously, the car is what we're here to see. For me, anyway. Let's see how this works. It's not... It, all you can do is view it. She's a bit of a... I feel like it should have been a woohoo spot, at least. Or, like, sleeping car. Or just something where they just disappear into the car would have been fun. No different colour swatches. Pop it in our inventory. Let's see. We'll go over to wherever this guy is. And see if we can place this. Oh, we can. Wait, can we place it inside? That's great. So we can place it in a garage if we want to. We can also place it outside. I don't think we can buy extras. Let me just check. No, I don't believe so. Let's just place that back in inventory and head back over there and place this back where it was. Was it that way around? I can't remember. Oh no, it was the other way. They don't reverse into their drive. Okay, that's probably not the right placement, but there we go. The car is back. We've got some nice flowers. Lovely area underneath. Some stairs leading up. Nice little seating area. Very summer themed. Very Nalani. Some palm trees outside. And then in the main floor of the house, the only floor of the house that you can live in. Got a lovely little rug. We've got our fan, which I love. The only thing that bothered me about this kitchen was these curtains behind the cabinets and like behind the oven. That seems like a fire hazard. Doesn't, I mean, I'm really glad they've put curtains on windows. They generally miss those out in these builds, but I just find that a little bit of a weird decision behind that cabinet I think I don't know let me know what you guys think down in the comments but I love the colour scheme of this I love that they got that blue fridge matching the blue chairs the lovely ombre walls nice little dartboard little lounge area through here we've got seating area looking out I love that this is sort of all open plan-ish, a bit of a sunroom-esque room, a little yoga area and a guitar and a bar. Lots of purposes for that room. Use of the new table, little kids room back here, very cute. A bathroom and a bedroom. Overall very nice, very different to anything we've seen before. I love that they've put the house on stilts, love that you get the water slide as part of the build. I mean, even locked it in the Sim Festival anyway. I love these stilts that they're like double stilted. I think that's a super cute touch. I love the colouring of this. I love that they pop the car in there. And they've got the fire torches outside as well. 
hopefully we'll see more interaction and colour schemes with the car in future. I think it was brave of them to pop it in there without any, but I know they are looking for feedback of whether players want any more interaction with that item. So, you know, shout at them on Twitter, tell them, tell them what you want. They're always listening. And I will, of course, pass on any feedback if you feel more comfortable writing it on this channel. No problem. Oh, there's some bins under there as well. Very handy, nice little storage area for the bins and a divider. I really like this. But please do let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.